has having children affected your sex life? What's into that, guys? My darling husband. In the other room, you always talk it out. <laughs> Handyman. Okay. It was not. Oh. <laughs> this gentle guy, if I see. This is a mistake. I know about tomorrow. Hello Diddy Stripe. Officially, you guys are Diddy Stripe because you guys have been amazing and I love all of you. And because we are building a community, I chose to call you guys Diddy Stripe. Guess what? We have a guest on our channel. And it's no other person than my darling husband. <laughs> Hi guys. She's very mysterious. Okay. You started? Okay. Mischievous, I agree, but I'm also very nice. He's Dala Diabujo. He is a medical doctor. He's a darling husband and the best dad you can ever ask for. And oh. guess what? Meet the man that married me. <laughs> I'm a cool person, you know, jovial person, easy to go, but I'm very shy, especially camera shy. So you, you have to bear with me. His camera shy. <laughs> In fact, eh, I have been dragging him for more than two years now to sit here. You guys, two years, two whole years. And surprisingly, he just asked me, What can I do for you on your YouTube channel? I'm like, Hey, hey, are you serious? Did you actually ask this question? He said, Answer me before I change my mind. I said, Please, you can just sit and talk. That's all I ask. Anyway, here he is. Please, let's ring the bell again. <laughs> Okay, so um, get your glass of wine, um, popcorn, whatever you want to get. This is going to be a cool and fun chat, right? Fun chat, yeah, we're kind of in a hot seat because she told me that um, you guys uh, have, you know, put up a number of questions you want us to answer in this chat. Wow. <laughs> he said, wow. <laughs> okay, before we start answering your questions, let's just start with talking about how we met. I think it's going to bring up that spark once more how we met yes please do you want to tell them oh wow because i think i'm always the one that is always with that version of how we met i mean to my friends some of you already know how we met but i know i've not really shared it open so it would be nice to hear his own version i mean i remember when i was growing up i was very close to my dad and he would say well uh Promise me you, you, when you are old enough to get married, you're going to get married to a teacher's daughter. I met her in a hospital I was working in then at a bank, you know, Abia State, Nigeria. Somehow, uh, prior to then, I had already met her parents and uh, we got talking. They, they came to the hospital with her younger sister and they came talking and, uh, you know, asking me a lot of questions. And in the process, I just fell in love with the family and all that. I never knew they had a bigger daughter like her. I think some weeks later, she came to the hospital. That was when I met her. I was trying to be very, uh, uh, you know, very cautious with her. Uh, I think, how old were you then? She was 17. 17. <laughs> when she walked into the consultation room, I don't know, it was just like, you know, I heard a voice, this is your wife. So I, I sent her for some investigation and uh, I, included one or two tests i was really interested in and all that and you know and i thought i was going to get she was in a hurry to go to the village to see her grandmom mm. yeah she couldn't wait for the test results i told her okay don't oh, not worry when the test results. give me your that. number that was how this guy got my number give me your, said, number. Give your number i'll send the test result to you yes <laughs> I, I did that and that was how i got her number <laughs> and and I, I i didn't i didn't fail in sending the test result to her i even called her to explain the test yes. result and all that extra way. service and <laughs> and at that point i asked her if i could be calling her to check and, up on you you know yeah and we were talking on the phone for how many months oh no i we never got for... i never got to see you again yeah we talked oh we became so we formed that friendship ah he was and it, it was so easy to talk to him because me for me yeah, as a young girl growing up under my dad's roof. I saw the way my dad was hands-on. I saw how much he invested into us and I saw how much he cared for us as a family. So I became a little bit family-oriented. I was into that, guys. Yeah. 
I, I told you, right? Yeah. I, I, I kind of had a thing for that guy. I wanted a man like my dad. And yeah, that's how we formed that friendship. And yeah, it was, it started after, as friendship. After, friendship. Yeah, yeah, it friendship. was a long friendship. Trust yeah, me. over the phone, though. A long friendship. At some point, I visited from school. But that was like after how many months of I think you know, about, about six months. More yeah, or more than that. More, more than that. So yeah. at some point. So but that's gonna be story for another day. So hopefully he's gonna agree to sit down one day and we will talk about all these other stories. So that was how we met. Um, let's get into most of your questions. And um, I got some questions from Instagram and I got some from YouTube as well. We're going to try to touch all of them. Um, guys, I'm going to try to write out the question on the screen so that it will be clearer, okay? But the first question is, what, is, what in your opinion constitutes a good marriage? How did you know he's the one? So I'm guessing this question is for me. I feel like as a young girl, we know what we want, even though we don't say it all the time. When we see it, we know, right? Sometimes we should not, in as much as good looks is also a factor because you don't want your children looking anyhow, right? But we should also put other things into consideration before saying yes to that person yeah. especially when during that courtship period don't overlook everything nobody is perfect but at the same time there are certain red flags we shouldn't overlook mm. for instance um i remember when i visited him when we we were dating then we had gone so deep into dating and each time i visit his home i noticed this guy wasn't eating out each time he would come out with that his special stuff, even though he doesn't cook that special stuff for us now again, but <laughs> each time this guy will come out with that special stew and rice, and I'm like, and then he will want to serve me. You know, a lot of guys who just want you to come and then you know maybe they'll take you out, which is not bad, though. But for me, that was like because of what I wanted in a man, that was like um a good sign for me, right? A young guy, a bachelor staying on his own bringing out stew he cooked by himself and he had this signature stew so you know it's nobody cooking for him he cooked by himself and he's serving you the food he cooked i mean that felt really homely that was not the only reason why i married him Sha, but this i'm just giving you guys a pointer right so when you're dating somebody there should always be room to you know date with your head and not just your heart because sometimes the heart can be misleading. The guy will beat you up and then the next thing you say, oh, I'm sorry, I promise I will change, I will change. Trust me, that guy will not change. So I'm going to leave it here. That is what it is for me. Um, so that I think I just answered, how did you know he's the one? There are a lot of good pointers that made me believe that he's the one. And I had to, you know, take that risk. It's, marriage is a risk, okay? And then what is your opinion? What in your opinion constitutes a good marriage? For me, what constitutes a good marriage? I think it's understanding because understanding, understanding love, respect, love, respect for respect, each other, yes. sharing things together. No, you know, I never hide anything from her. She knows all my friends. Yeah, uh, the trust has always been there right yeah. from the time we we're dating because she's always been open. Yeah, okay, in everything she does. Yeah, trust, respect, respect okay, love. Sharing and fear of God. The fear of God. Let's not forget that. That's not forget paramount that. because if yeah. two of you, your beliefs do not align, then trust me, you have no business being in a marriage. Yeah. Do you understand? Yeah. If your beliefs do not, or if your beliefs do not align, because you're, you're bringing in offspring, how do you want to bring up those children? Your beliefs must align for that marriage to work. If you have children, always make your children know that you love each other, even when you have misunderstanding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, couples have misunderstanding. Hey but Lord, hey Lord, do not, me. do not allow your children to know that you're having misunderstandings. Mm. Okay, and never run your partner down in the in presence front. of your children. Mm. Okay, so whenever your partner tries to correct the children and they come to you, tell them, "Don't come to me. Mom sort, is right. Sort it, out, sort it out with your mom. Don't come to me. I'm not going to protect you." She's right. What she told you. Then even if you that. don't believe that that partner yeah. is not right, is, yeah, I know. is, is right or something. You can and always later on behind you know, the children. You know, just try it. in the other room. Yeah, you know, in well, the yeah, other room. In the other room, you always talk it out. <laughs> okay, and you know, Okay, so oh my god, that rate we're going, we're not be able to answer all these questions. No question. You're an inspiration to me. Your page always brings a smile to my face. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. For me, that is all that matters, okay? Thank you so yeah. much and I appreciate you guys. Um, what is the three most important things in marriage? Has having children affected your sex life? Well, I'm going to answer that question. We're still married, right? 
and that means it's great how did you meet how long did you date how long ha, how long have you been married so like we've already answered that from the beginning right mm. how we met we, how we met we've answered that but how long did we date we dated for three three years, years. yes we dated yeah for three years and how long have you been married baby calculate it. <laughs> uh, we we had a traditional marriage in 2019 19 2009 sorry 2009 yeah. we had a traditional marriage in 2009 and, nine. and okay wedding and 2010 and we wedded in january 2010 10. so this is so you can you can calculate that yourself this is 2022 so like 12 years should hmm. be more than 12 years 12 yeah, years 12 years together january with best man <laughs> how old how old were you when you got married whoa whoa is I that was, coming up for you i, I don't know that that should be for me I was, yeah, that's for me, that's for me. So we got married when I was 20 years, and like we said, we met when I was 17. So we dated for three years, and then we got married when I was 20. So I think you guys are stylishly asking me how old I am. Anyway, how did you meet? We've already answered that question. How did you start to involve your husband in house chores? Mm. Baby, answer that. Involve? He involved me. <laughs> <laughs> I involved her, yeah. <laughs> I'm always an organized person, okay? Guys, OCD. OCD. She, she, she says I have OCD. I don't believe but I have OCD. But you have transferred it to me now. <laughs> okay, I don't think I have OCD because I've always, you know, told her, you know, this part of what makes a, a good home, you know, yeah. keep things well organized and all that. And she learned from me. And she, she She's a very good student because she, she graduated with distinction and she's going for pre <laughs> professorship. I don't have... I don't have PhD. She's 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 you know graduating with PhD. She's she's doing it more than I expected, um, honestly. Um, and yeah. you know, at the moment she's teaching me some things. Okay, yeah. So you know, to cut a long story short, I've always been that kind of a homely person yeah. and all that. So it's some we just been building on that. You yeah, know, then learning from each yeah, other. Yeah, learning from each other, strengthening each other's weaknesses yeah. and all so that. So it's now a habit. Yeah. And we hope to bring up children that are yeah. like that. You but it's not OCD. We don't have OCD. <laughs> no. <laughs> How does cleaning as a family make you feel? Please address the men on this. Okay. That's seriously, uh, if you're not doing that, I will encourage you. Please start. You know. To start, it's not just you know, about the cleaning; it's about the doing the bonding, it together. You know, you, know, you, you we created this mess yeah, together. Let's you don't, know, keep our home. Don't allow your partner, okay, yeah. to do everything. You can just stay in there, even to just arrange the pillows, you know, arrange the plates, you know, yeah, move things from anything. where you know, help her lift or help him lift heavy things and all that. You know, participate. Don't just allow one person to do it and all yeah. that. Men tend to come back and feel tired, which is yeah. okay. Even yeah. women walk and come back and they feel tired. But the reason why I feel like it has to be balanced is because you see this thing called running the home. It is a 24-7 job. Yeah. It is not like the 9 to 5 you exactly. go to Exactly. So you don't think that because your wife is not working, so you are the one that go out to work and you come back and know I need to rest. Like, has your wife rested? Have you asked that question? Do you really want a happy wife in the home? Because for me, this is one of the factors. You don't expect her to stress herself all the way, and then she she comes back, come maybe in the night you now crawl. <laughs> ah, night crawl. That's a lock door. Go lock door. Yeah, ah, okay. yeah. Try to maintain during the day so that we we'll maintain for night. Yeah. And how you so, met? How long you have been together? And tips for others. Well, that's it. I think we've we'll talked about, we'll talk about that. Yeah. Tips for others is just shine your eye if you want marry, yeah. especially domestic yeah. violence these days. Shine Please. your eye because. The red flags are always there. Some people don't see it. Yeah. Some see it and pretend they don't not, see not it. Not pretend. They they just feel maybe this person will change. We I think change. that's always the thing. When no, no. So wait. First of all, some see it and say, ah, but it's usual for guys. Yeah. Okay. I'm or not maybe that's bothered. how he shows. Why some love. some see it, get concerned, but feel that they are going to change. change Even yeah. when they, you know, give enough time and the person doesn't change, they still believe the person is Maybe going to change. Maybe after marriage, you will change. You Never change. So, so, shine your eyes, you know, use your head, not your heart it's always. It's okay to use your heart. Use your heart, but also use, use your, your head. head. You teach how to stay organized at home, kitchen and all that stuff. No, my dear, I don't. So, I just feel like if I'm sharing these videos um, of my home and all that, people should draw inspiration and do things. There's no, for me, I just feel like, what am I even going to teach? If I show you the containers I'm using to organize and I tell you where I buy them, then just go and buy and use to organize. 
or i show you what i'm using together if you feel like you like that's why we tag where we buy these things so just go and buy and do or if you feel you need extra services that's why i'm here okay while i'm giving you an idea i can also give you an idea of how to organize your space so it is um some money okay just pay for some time <laughs> did you learn interior design or it's something that comes naturally to you i didn't learn interior design even though i want to you know get a degree or not a degree per se but maybe get a certificate or something i really want to i didn't start buying interior decor books because i want to draw inspiration i want to read i want to be on the trend you know so i want to advance it because this is something that comes naturally never learned it from anywhere no, no did you ever know that i had it in me before? no I, I never did I never even before we bought a house you never knew right mm -hmm. but you could see some traces of that thing when we were buying our from our rented house i was, buying, I was gathering some decor things from facebook market yeah. you could see some traces mm -hmm. but i didn't know how to put two and two together so what really inspired me to you know evolve this part of me was when we bought our house so i said okay i'm gonna take it upon myself i listened to youtube videos i watched i went i browsed i researched and i came up with some i followed a lot of accounts home accounts on instagram too they kind of gave me inspiration pinterest you know all those places so i just saw that i had it in me and how do you do all this without getting stressed i mean when you do something you love how do you get stressed there's always time to rest yeah. honestly there's if, always if, a break if, in if between. It, if it comes naturally from your heart and all that, you can't get stressed. Yeah. You will always be happy doing it. Even though sometimes when I do the DIYs, I get yeah. tired and all that. But just take a rest yeah. and continue. And, and everybody, you know, helps one yeah, way or the other. Yeah, one way or the other. So At times, it, you children come to help one way. Yeah. bring things and all that. And if I am available, I also help. And he's also very good with his hands. I think I start seeing it. So yeah. without him, I wouldn't even put she, up she, a lot of She actually on. does most of the decorations and moldings. So she does most moldings, paintings, decorations, and all that. But the fixtures, I do most of the fixtures. So if it's I ever start, if I ever take it to another level, he's gonna be my handyman. Okay. <laughs> I come in when, when she gets stuck. <laughs> Just saying thanks to a supportive husband that he is. We are his fans. Oh, thank you guys. How was his childhood growing up? I come from a very big family. We're actually, uh, you know, seven. Five boys, then two girls. Uh, my mom first had the first five boys. She felt she was not going to have a girl. She, she took a break and forgot all about it. And uh, seven years later, Luckily, she had a girl, and she started trying again. She had a girl, but the girls started coming after, no, after five years. Okay. Yeah, started coming after five years. So prior to that, she had already trained us like girls. Yeah. Okay. So when I was growing up, I was, did a lot of farm work. I did weaving. I was plaiting hair. I was knitting. I did a lot of baking. So thanks to my mom, she she taught us all that. All my five brought all, all the boys. Hands on, they are hands all on. All the boys in my house, we are hands. And they cook so well. Right? You understand? They yeah. So, well. so that's it. So at at a stage, my parents took a break. My mom took a break. We started doing all the cooking in the house, all the baking and all that. I got eat for a very long time. My mom never cooked in the house. Yeah. You know and all that. So that's it. I, I learned that. I, it was and also, as a child, he was very naughty. Let's leave that. Let's leave it at that. That's the summary. Yes, he was naughty. Oh. <laughs> this gentle guy, if I see it, mm. story, story, don't worry. If we should just pray for him to come back to this channel. One. <laughs> so, how long have you lived in the UK? Four years. Four years. Yeah. yeah. Four years. Keep shining. Oh, thank you. <laughs> this person says keep shining. Thank you very much. Does the NHS give you enough work-life balance? The truth about it is, the way NHS is designed, you can never get enough work back, work life balance. So you have to create that by yourself. Yeah. Okay. A lot of people do that by taking vacations. So you're entitled to I think 28 to 30 days annual leave. You know, uh, in a year. And some people use it to go and pursue money. Say I want to do extra work, get more money, yeah. and all that. Some people will now say I'm using it for to spend time. To spend time. Even that is not enough. No, if you're relying on your annual leave to create quality time, work like life balance, you know, uh, it's, it's not enough. So you have to go an extra mile to balance, to balance it yourself. Nobody does that for you. You have to go an extra mile to balance it yourself. Okay. All right. You have weekends. A lot of people work Mondays to Fridays and they have weekends free. 
So you can use weekends to, to you know to get enough work life balance if you don't have any. Okay. How come he is so supportive and assists in the home as he does? Because most African men believe otherwise. I think he has answered that. Yeah, I know where we come from. Stop. Most African men believe otherwise. It just comes naturally, and I love doing it. It's something I enjoy doing. Yeah. You know. And, he likes yeah. being involved, so that's it. And he was brought up. I think it's basically like he said background. Background has a lot of role to play, trust me. If you were not brought up in that manner, it doesn't mean you cannot do it. You can learn because we can unlearn certain things to learn new ones. So if you were not brought up in that manner, I think it's just a matter of just, you know, consciously telling yourself, I want to teach me. Oh, baby, are you cooking? Okay, let's cook together. Even if it's just, um, maybe your wife is cooking in the kitchen and you just be like, baby, let's cook together. You can just say, okay, what do you want me to do? Should I bring oil for you? Should I, I mean, just getting involved. You don't have to be the one to cook. You don't have to, but with time, when you keep doing these things, you just see yourself. It just becomes yeah. a part of you. And because yeah. you're enjoying it, enjoying spending time with your wife, enjoy spending time with your family, and then you'll be like, okay, let's do it. Once in a while, just do it. What and who shapes the man you have become? The Bible says when a man and a woman leave their parents come together, they, they become one. That means you have to shape each other. If she shaped me in some things, uh, I wasn't perfect or things I didn't know. I Likewise, I also shaped her. Yeah, so we did it together and all that. Yeah. Okay, and that's why we're still together. Shining right, babe? Yeah. 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 This is gonna be the last question, but that question is gonna come from me. That's gonna be another time, right? Yeah, I will. But that depends on right. how it performs and if they're happy to see us together again you see, on the show. Guys, yeah. so what are we saying? Please, you guys should just encourage me and encourage him to come back here by hitting the like button and subscribing to our channel. Diddy Strike, thank right. you so much. And yeah, please don't forget to hit on the like button and subscribe to my channel because on this channel we do lots of weekly vlogs, we do a lot of makeovers and you know, I just share basically how we are turning our house to a home and um, hopefully I should be able to do another updated house tour because this is like more than one year we've lived in this house so I, sh I feel like we are due for another house tour um, even though the house is not where we want it to be but I feel it's okay to show progress so um, this kind of video might be coming your way soon don't forget to hit on that like button and subscribe because you don't want to miss this okay mm -hmm. we will see you guys in our next vlog stay fabulous, fabulous. bye, bye. <laughs>